Hello and welcome to RCTV UK. In this episode we're going to be taking a look again at the Backbones Project Copter. This is going to be Lisa's uh, FPV vehicle. Um, we've already been playing around with a 5.8 gigahertz setup, just using a Spectrum Park Fly receiver. Um, the copter is really proving to be superb, really reliable. We're loving the Pro Flight motors and ESCs with this. We're running a four cell setup with 9.5 props and the performance from this thing is absolutely brilliant. We've got a 2,200 milliamp free cell there at the moment, but we're actually using a four cell zippy pack, uh, 2,650 milliamps, uh, and the, the performance, like I say, is just absolutely brilliant. We're using the Fat Shark CCD killer um, camera up on the front there. I'm trying to answer these questions now just in case they pop up underneath the video at a later stage, it'll save me some time. So as I said, we've been using the Spectrum Park Flyer on this setup, but we thought it was about time we gave Lisa the capability to get some range. We've popped uh, an easy UHF transmitter on the back of a Futaba. Uh, this is a 7CP, which is like a Field Force 7. Um, we picked this up for about £50 in the UK, about $75 US. Um, this is the radio that we chose to go with as the UHF was actually designed, the Easy UHF was actually designed around the Futaba platform. So the leads are all plug and play, you literally pop this on the back of that radio and you're good to go. I don't want to talk too much about the the FPV side of things because we have got a new series coming up soon um, called Beginners to Winners in FPV and we're going to cover all the stuff, uh, your video links, transmitter links, all the different possibilities, can you use Spectrum, can you use 2.4 and so on. So I won't bore you with that now. Um, actually, I don't know whether you guys can see that but up on here we have got uh, the Easy UHF uh, receiver and just one wire coming from the KK board which makes for a really clean installation using the PPM signal. So for this you will need a KK 2.0. This software, this firmware rather, is not available yet for the uh, KK 2.1 but I'm sure that's something the guys will be uh, programming the source code for you at some point. But for now, you'll need a KK 2.0. You will need a USB ASP programmer. This is the one that we use. Any form of PPM transmission equipment. The Easy UHF has been set up so that you can uh, use PPM signal to talk to your, uh, or to listen to your flight controller. Um, there's a video that we're going to be sharing with you. I'll put the link down here. This is to our friend Simon at Team UK FPV. He's got a good video showing you how to set up the Easy UHF uh, for PPM. That's a really simple, good video to follow. There's also another one from the HPI guy, or that HPI guy, should I say. I'll pop that one down here. So click on one of these videos, watch how to set up the Easy UHF, and then come back and see us. Right guys, so you've now worked out how to set up the Easy UHF for PPM. Now we better take a look at setting up the KK board. So it, what I'll do is, uh, I'll post a video from the guys at Flight Test here. Sounds like I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, but Flight Test have done a video on this showing you how to flash the KK board. Now it is an older video, um, but the procedure's the same. You use the Laser Zero flash tool with the USB ASP on your KK2. Click the drop down bar, pick the revision 3 1.6 for CPPM, which is the PPM one that we're using, and then follow the instructions on the video. So click this video now. That'll take you through to do that stage and then come back and see us. 
Okay guys, so now I'm going to assume that you've clicked on that, and you've got your KK set up, you've got your Easy UHF set up now running uh, the Muxed channel, which is the uh, PPM signal. The KK2 is now flashed with the right software. All it is left to do is to plug in your one wire that takes the PPM signal. Now with the buttons facing you, just plug it into the top, uh, port number one at the top, which is aileron on your KK2. Uh, and on your receiver, whatever receiver it is, we use this is for UHF, uh, the Easy UHF system. So we've plugged that into port one, which is the one that we set up for the MUX signal. Well, that's it, guys. It really is that simple. I'm going to hand over to myself and Lisa at the field now to wrap this one up. So, guys, there you go. That's uh, proof. There she is flying. Um, using the PPM on the KK board. Uh, I believe the source code is by RC911 from uh, from RC Groups. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there she is. PPM on the KK board just using the one wire. Lisa's FPV Backbones project is now looking good. We've just been about half a mile using a 5.8 gigahertz video system on the Futaba 9, uh, sorry, Futaba FF7. There's uh, one of the well-known UHF systems on the back, and there she is.